Hey folks, my husband and I are putting in a farm sink. It is a Syncology sink from Home Depot, the Josephine model, and it is a drop-in. And we're doing it on our butcher block countertop that we've installed. And we hope this video will help you out. Instead of doing a template, which seemed a little awkward and odd to us, we just measured side to side on the bottom of the sink and cut out side to side slid it in and kind of got an estimate on how far back we wanted to go. We didn't want to go back as far as they said because it wouldn't have given us very much counter depth to set the sink on. So where the three holes are for the plumbing, we just cut out that notch and then cut out a little notch right here so that the sink sits flush with the cabinet, not the counter. And Steve's going to stick the sink in so that you can see how it goes in. It is heavy, guys. Sink Guardian Leviosa. Watch your fingers. fingers. So it weighs a blooming ton. So we obviously not caulked it in yet, but this is how it's going to look. See how it sits flush against the cabinet and that little notch cut out. We set the sink here before we cut the notch and just mark the notch. Obviously we're going to silicone this so that the water doesn't get in. And it is perfectly <coughs> set. And like I said, we only cut out the section for the three holes and left this as solid as possible back here. Lined up pretty good. You can see another video on how I did my cabinets. <clears throat> we did those by ourselves. But there you go. Syncology Josephine model from Home Depot.